Nobody wants to be held accountable, but the truth is, if any of this stuff is gonna work, that's the one thing we need. My challenge to all of you, whether you're on the loan side or the house side, is why not you? Is anybody else in this city better than you? Everybody in this room puts their pants on the same way. So if he can do 15, you can. All right, today we've got a sales training coming in from John Rankin, getting everyone super hyped up. It's gonna be a pretty good day. Hopefully it's gonna raise everyone's volume in production and I'm pretty excited about it. Dude, you gotta give me more than that, bro. John, are you getting excited today? We are getting absolutely hyped up today for some amazing sales training with John Rankin. Let's go, baby! I think that, I think that was a little more hype. I gotta get everyone excited today. No. Sales, sales, sales. Real estate, real estate, real estate. All right, look, when you're in sales, no matter where you're at on the spectrum of closing a lot of deals, a little deal, somewhere in between, no matter what, all the successful people in sales always say they need training and coaching and something to just keep them dialed in and sharpened on what they're doing on a daily basis. So even though I feel like I'm in a really good rhythm of what I do in my day to day, I feel like some of the LOs or some of the people at the company do really well on a day to day, you could always be doing better and you always need a little bit of a reset as you're just going through sales because sales is extremely challenging. And that's why we're bringing in John today because he's gonna be talking a lot about accountability and keeping people actually focused on their goals and saying, if you wanna close X amount of transactions, you need to be doing X, Y, Z to get that done. And not only just saying you need to do that, but actually doing those things and staying true to that, which is why it's so important to always have someone come in and keep you focused with training or coaching or anything like that. Ultimately, my goal here is to help you increase your sales, make more money. That's what we do. So. One of the ways that we feel, now, sales is ultimately about transferring value and energy to our potential clients or our clients. So if we're in the valley, what kind of energy are we transferring? Yeah, not stellar. And if we're not transferring stellar energy, what happens? It's stressed. You let that just stay down. You're staying in there. Yeah, you're staying in there. What separates those top guys from those average guys, right? First is their skill sets. If you wanna be good at what you do and you wanna make a lot of money with what you do, you have to have good skill sets. As we get into our field, we develop our skill sets. Here's the great thing about skill sets. Can you improve them? Mm -hmm. Right? And what happens in sales is when we hit those valleys, we actually stop performing as well. So I don't worry about whether I'm making sales or not. What I worry about, am, am I increasing my skill sets? Am I getting better at talking to people? Am I getting better at explaining my offer? Am I staying motivated? Because I can control my own motivation, right? And am I working on my systems? How do I follow up with people? How do I engage people? How do I move people from point A to point B? But out of all of this, I really focus on this, creating habits that are based on my activities. How many people do you have to talk to to get one deal? Call it 50. Call it 50. You guys are all supposed to be the experts at what you do and you don't know how many people you have to call to make one deal. We're all guessing. You should know. You should know. You should know. You should know. You should know how many people I have to call because we don't know. So we're just throwing darts at the dartboard hoping we hit a bullseye. I'd rather have somebody that I have to babysit a little bit and do a little bit of fire control with than somebody who waits until every opportunity is perfectly laid out and it's all good. I don't know it's funny you guys. say that because I feel like in real estate, they push to get to a seventh level where you don't have to control your business, but you can't replace yourself as a quarterback. You can't. You know, if you think about it, it's crazy. I you know, I just thought about that. I'm like, right. but it's like the, the big successful teams are that still the, the team owners that show up every day and continue. Key takeaway is how to ask for referrals. I'm not gonna give it away. You're gonna have to definitely watch the whole video, but 100% know how to make that way more effective in my business and make it easier for my clients to answer the question. Me, your whole list of leads that were denies. Cause you guys all keep it, I'm imagining. Yeah, so I'm like, send me that full list and I'll work them. The other one is, is you gotta learn to be the power broker of the conversation. Again, needy, needy guy at the bar with the hottest girl, it doesn't work out. So you need to be the guy that goes to the bar with something to offer. So when you call people, it's not, hey Ryan, give me your business. It's, hey Ryan, I have a dedicated client that has somewhere between five and 15 houses that are gonna have to be done this year. Are you the guy that can commit to taking care of my my clients? That's up, man. You ready for your gift? I am ready. Uh, is that good? <laughs> <laughs> nice contrast too. Let's go. Go awesome. Yeah, right.
right? Sick. You, uh, you have a car. Yeah, we see that. Uh, um, different with your hair? Remember, Lauren did it that one oh, day. Yeah. Hi. Hi, right, bro. What you think, man? How was it? I thought it was pretty good. I thought there was a lot of things that John talked about that I wasn't expecting him to actually talk about. Um, one of my favorite things was actually the LinkedIn. Now, I knew a lot of the amazing tools and everything he talked about with LinkedIn about searching and dialing in an exact type of person that you want to be prospecting. But I do love how he showed how easy it was and everyone else in the room was able to see how easy it is because a lot of people, you know, they hear about great ways to prospect, they hear about great ways to grow their business, but they always think that it's too challenging for them. They don't want to start. And I love how he literally just killed that immediately. He's like, you want to find people who are moving to Arizona? This is how you do it. Two seconds, here's how many people are moving to Arizona. I love that. I love how easy it is for people to actually go, okay, there's no reason why I should procrastinate on, on prospecting. Here's how I do it. I just need to go do it. Another thing that I really liked about a lot of the stuff he talked about today was just how so much of it is just work. It's just the fact that a lot of people aren't willing to work. And once you dial in kind of how many calls you need to make or how many outreach you need to have or how many things you need to do, it will result in X amount of business. I love that. He just simplified how putting in actual work will turn into results and how so many people just don't put in the work and they just hope their phone rings. So I did love that aspect of it. John does the same thing that I personally have done to grow my business tremendously is he literally sold his own self or his business through teaching others or giving people free content. That is literally the epitome of how I built my business. I went around giving YouTube lunch and learns. I post content online all the time for free. I don't have any paid courses when it comes to finance or mortgages or buying real estate. It's all free content. I try to give out as much free content as possible and the people who resonate resonate with that content that they're getting are gonna wanna work with me. And it's so much more organic. Anyone in that room who valued the content he was giving them immediately went up to him afterwards and said, I wanna sign up for coaching. I love that he sold himself and he sold his business through just giving free content away. That is literally exactly what I've done to grow my business. So it's cool that we kind of you know, share that similarity uh, between us. So I do really think that John had some solid stuff to say. And what most people actually don't realize when it comes to coaching or training or just giving out content in general is that a lot of creators or people in those positions are actually giving out their best content for free. Um, so John probably gave us some of his best stuff today, but that's not saying that he doesn't have other great stuff to give. Um, we only have like an hour in there. So I'm sure he had some really great stuff, but overall, I better see our sales 10X, all right? 10X or he's never invited back ever again.